Hi, everyone. In this week's video, what I'd love to introduce to you is the idea and the concept that diversity, equity, and inclusion is really doing culture work within an organization. And a lot of times when I have prospective clients approaching me and saying, you know, Carolina, we haven't really done any work in this space and we're not really sure where to begin. And there's almost this trepidation or, or intimidation factor when it comes to approaching diversity, equity, and inclusion work. And the way that I love to approach it when somebody says that is to give them the familiarity of something that they've already done in terms of either raising their awareness and or embracing differences in the workplace. So for example, I'll say to them, have you ever done any work within your organizations at looking at people's different strengths? And typically they'll say, oh yes, I and mean, you know, we form teams based on complementary strengths. And they say, well, that's one way of embracing differences. What about, have you looked at different communication styles and how we all have, or personality traits and how we all work differently and see the world differently or different conflict styles. And so when you start introducing differences that we all bring to the workplaces in these familiar constructs that most organizations have already done within their workplace or are very familiar with, then they can start seeing that this is very similar to then opening up conversations in other areas that they haven't had. In other words, the same principles apply for us being able to share with one another, share stories of how we see the world, because then it helps us understand how, how different we are when it comes to those, whether it's communication styles, conflict, strengths, whatever the case might be. So what sometimes organizations are really saying is that we haven't had conversations on topics like gender or race or other dimensions of diversity that might be newer for them when it comes to having these facilitated conversations or exploring differences in those areas. So when we frame it from that perspective and even encourage organizations to bring up work that they've done in the past regarding these differences, differences, it helps them move the needle in other areas or feel less intimidated by other areas that they've already, uh, knowing that they've already explored other differences in the past to then be able to explore new differences. So that's one way of reframing it so it doesn't seem so intimidating. So if you right now or in an organization where you're feeling, wow, we haven't done any work in this space. I invite you to think of it from this different perspective and then understanding that all of this, what this is really doing is transforming workplace culture. Because what we're really doing is giving people permission and the opportunity to explore these differences within one another and understand how it creates uh, more of a a, un, a unity, like a unified team, and how it leads to more creativity and innovation when we bring all these different perspectives to the table, and how that can really strengthen a team. Another way of looking at this is when we bring cross-functional teams together, and everyone has their expertise, but we all come together and benefit from these cross-functional areas. So when we look at it from the fact that we already have frameworks that we're familiar with, it's about how do we then step into these new conversations, but there's a lot from the frameworks that we're already familiar with that we can borrow from. And the last thing that I just want to remind us of is understanding and knowing that when we're working with these familiar constructs, but that the intention is to bring people closer together, to be more inclusive, and to change workplace culture, we know that that takes time, um, years, in fact. Anyone who's involved in any culture change knows that it takes repetition and that human behavior and changes in habit takes time. So to remember that when we're also engaging in diversity, equity, and inclusion work, that it's not gonna change overnight and that we're not gonna move the needle overnight but in the same way that we've done it with other aspects of culture change in the past, that we are familiar and we have some of the tools to engage in this work.